We're here just outside Orlando, Florida. This has to be one of the best collections of SPS coral. Six rows with about a total of 30,000 gallons. It just keeps going and going. What's up guys, I'm back in the United States and we're here today at Top Shelf Aquatics. These guys are some of the best in the country at coral growing and selling. We're about to meet up with my good friend Scuba Steve. He's gonna show us what's going on. We're just waiting for him to show up now. George! What's going on? Come on, we gotta go. It's live sell freaking weekend. It's my Friday! It's my Friday! It's a holly jolly Christmas. Last time you guys saw Scuba Steve was all the way back in Indonesia. Scuba Steve! Indonesia, now we're back home, baby. We're about to see all the cool coral Steven's got. Where are we going right now? We are going to our farm. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Yeah. So when you do a live sale, that's yeah. basically like a two day flash sale. Yeah, so what we do is it's two days, huge discounts, $1, $5, $10 corals, up to 80% off. We gotta get 4,000 corals, pictured, cut, skewed, packed, all that good stuff, get them ready for this sale. And that's what you're gonna be uh, seeing today. And guess what? We're at the farm, bitches. Check it out. So we started the farm about two and a half years ago. The last time I was here, I saw yeah. the farm when it was pretty new. Yeah, I think we only had one tank. A lot has changed. So last time I gave you guys a tour of the farm, this time it's gonna be Kevin's turn. He's gonna kind of show you guys a little bit about all the different tanks that we have. All right guys, let's just come over here to our main grow out area. What you're seeing is six rows with about a total of 30,000 gallons in here. Chock full of coral pretty much across the board. All aquaculture. These colonies have been in our captivity for five to 10 years some of these corals it's all farm so sustainability the ability for us to grow these corals offer them to people around the country without taking anything from the ocean which is really really cool the main thing that top shelf aquatics is known for which is our sticks you know the SPS grow out area is pretty much this whole section here it has the majority of the colonies what would you say are some of your favorite colonies in here right now so that's a really hard question we have so many different types one of my favorites would be probably the TSA Miss Piggy uh, the TSA Colt 45. Uh, that's just, it's an OG, good old fox flame. What's the one that's got these Christmas colors? Oh, that is a uh, flame tip microclotis. We have the side system over here, which we keep a lot of the frags and skewing areas. These are all the babies. This tank is full of all little acro frags. Once the frags are cut, we actually put those into this system. This is where they heal up a little bit for about a week or two. How long do you think it takes for these little babies to turn into the massive colonies that we saw in the other tank? A frag to a big colony could take two, three years, give or take. We have the strictest quarantine process in the business. We run everything through dips and rebasing for over two months before it ever makes it to these grow systems. You got all the crazy corals, obviously, up here in the displays. Mm -hmm. But then down here, you got even more coral in the oh, yeah. Down here is more geared towards low light corals. So we keep a lot of the mushrooms down here, in addition to a lot of the encrusting cyphastrias, uh, leptos, things like that, that tend to do well in that sort of environment. It's also nice to be able to have all the mushrooms in one little zone here, too, where you can kill the flow and target feed when we need to. Almost all the systems are just maxed out in space. And then if you turn around, you'll actually see the new largest system that we're currently building yeah. right now. When are you guys gonna stop? When we run out of room, probably. Yeah, <laughs> and even then we'll probably find another warehouse to buy and yeah. move into there. So I see that all the acros are on mm -hmm. these PVC pedestals. Why do you do that? Really comes in handy as far as placement. You know, a lot of these pieces we can just lock in on the arrays. And then if we need to remove them for fragging, it comes right off. In addition to that, 
that. It gets a ton of flow all around it. The SPS just absolutely loves it. And if you notice here too, we have the rock kind of elevated above the sand bed yeah. to keep it running really clean in here and allowed more hiding places for the fish and all the little critters in there. We try to pick fish for our grow out systems mainly based on what they'll do and benefit the system overall. And in addition to that, having a lot of natural pest control and prevention with rasses, along with springer eye damsels. We also keep copper band butterflies, which we use to maintain, you know, aptasic flatworms, algae. If you notice a lot of the systems, they're going to be heavy on tangs. The tangs are excellent herbivores. They also help maintain the bio load levels that we're trying to achieve as far as nitrates. How big are these water? About a thousand gallons each. Obviously in a farm this size, we can go through some water seriously fast. So uh, believe it or not, this water drum here is also tied in as the auto top off system for this whole facility. So we have water lines throughout the ceiling running to every single tank in here. And we can't see it. Yep. Well, if you look really hard, you'll see lines. So that's well, nice. You, you can test it? the salinity that's without salinity. having to climb up to the top. Be careful, it spits better. This is it. Dude, it's that's salt water. <laughs> that is 1.025, I believe. You might be right. I'll have to test it today. We're going to be fragging out of these tanks today. Yeah. I think we're going to go ahead and start with one of the oldest signature pieces here at Top Shelf, Princess Peach. Got some really vibrant pink color, some peach coralites and encrust green. So we're going to go ahead and try to find some nice clean cut branches that we can chip right off. You know, overall, we try to frag from different areas on the colony so that way we don't affect the growth too much and we can kind of spread things around and allow it to recover much, much quicker. Right now, I think we'll probably take three off of that guy, put it back so it'll grow some more by hopefully next week. So the babies, carry on over to our quarantine frag station over here. Essentially what we're doing now is we're taking the piece. We want to find a good angle where it was already hitting light, put glue on the plug, blow off some of the excess coral slime, which can cause a lot of these things to come loose because the glue doesn't really adhere as well. We put glue on both sides, create a sandwich, place that down right there at a nice angle, put the accelerator on the base, let it harden, and you got yourself a nice solid frag. Most of that stuff we allow to heal for, you know, a week to three weeks before we ship those things out just to make sure they're, you know, recovered and rock solid for y'all. Now I'm gonna take you guys over to our main fragging room here which is also our fish quarantine and coral quarantine area. As you can see, the guys are already hard at work over here. We got Remy, John, and Corey keeping the train rolling. Their goal today is to produce about a thousand frags overall to get them ready for this live sale. What he's got going on here, the Griffin bandsaw. For a lot of the pieces that require fine cuts through encrusted pieces, as you can see, he's actually having to carve through the different eyes and mouths of the coral so they have a higher success rate for recovery. And then we got got John over here. He's on the glue team. What we just saw you do, these guys are doing on a mass scale. How many of these little frags are they making? This here is what they've cut over about the last 45 minutes. So you guys sell these in your store and then also yes. obviously online. Mm -hmm. So after Kevin frags all those corals, they heal for about a week or two. Then our online team goes ahead and takes the corals. We picture and we put them on the site. So when he takes the picture, it actually loads to this computer. He then marks the location where that coral is going to be at to make sure you can find the exact piece that you sell. So when we're taking pictures and skewing 4,500 corals this month, there is pages and pages of corals. After he gets all the corals up and loaded, it goes on the site, you guys purchase some, you pick the day that you want them to ship out. Then we actually are going to show you guys how we pack up the orders. Today, we're not shipping for the live sale, but we have a pretty busy day. I think today we've got about 60, 70 orders going out. This is Dave. What we do is we grab the orders after they're printed out. He's gonna grab this piece. So Dave now has one of those packs labels and all the corals like I said are actually skewed. What Dave's doing right now is he's searching for the exact piece that someone bought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of our coral frags we do place in these cups. The nice thing about that is it actually protects the coral during shipping. This gives the ability, it's a nice tight little area so the coral sits there and can't really bounce around and, and hit the bag. The coral's kind of like in timeout until yeah. it gets to the customer. Now Dave's gonna go ahead and staple that coral up. <clears throat> Dave is a professional double bagger. Oh yeah. 
Now on the label, of course, we have the name of the coil, so you know exactly what you're getting, and you're gonna get requirements. You're gonna get flow, and you get light intensity. So for this one, we have Spiral the Dragon, the TSA piece, and when you get it, you automatically know where to put it in your tank. We wanna make sure that, of course, the coral is not gonna leak whatsoever. We triple bag all the corals to make sure they don't leak. Exactly, so now we're gonna pack this coral up, take our triple packed coral, post it in, add the peanuts in there. The nice thing about it is our site tells us what your temperature of the arriving location is gonna be, the low and the high. This gives us the ability to either put an ice pack, a heat pack into the box. This location address is gonna be 45 degrees in the morning, cold. We have to put a heat pack in here to keep it nice and hot, around 70 degrees for the corals. And of course, to top it off, we're gonna have our acclimation sheet and a coupon code for every returning customer coming back to TopShelfAquatics.com. And something we do, because this happened to me when I was a hobbyist, we do not put the invoices with the pricing in the box for all the spouses. That doesn't go in the box, just the packing list. Save you guys. All right, you guys have seen how they operate their facility, how they frag their corals, how they pack and ship everything. Whether you're a beginner of the hobby, intermediate, expert, this is the month. If you are in search of some new corals, they're gonna be running some killer yeah. deals. It's Steven. gonna be our best deals of the year. So make sure you guys tune in this weekend coming up, the 21st, 22nd. You can go over to topshelfaquatics.com. On the top, there's a Beat the Rush live sale tab. Click that. It explains how the live sale works. Pretty much two days of huge discounts. And if you can't make it or you don't find something on this live sale, don't forget we have black Friday and Cyber Monday and it's gonna be huge I mean we're just giving all kinds of stuff away and there's even gonna be some free corals on the website yeah, right yeah one dollar five dollar ten dollar and free corals essentially for the Black Friday almost 300 of those corals and then 300 for the live sale too so 600 corals for under 10 bucks and if you guys are watching this past the time of these sales do not worry you can actually use a special coupon code these guys made for the viewers on my channel it's gonna be scuba Steve and you get 10% off your first purchase with top shelf so I'll leave that all in the description below make sure to go check it out thank you no Scuba problem. Steve thank you buddy good to see you absolutely I'm back to the, the very cold Chicago yeah. I'm gonna miss the palm trees we will see you guys in the next one but until then remember to keep those nitrates low George out